Hey guys, my name is Anna and welcome to this week's Saturday activity. We are going to be drawing ourselves at CJL. So the goal here is to draw a scene from camp so big with sidewalk chalk that we can lie down and put ourselves in that picture. Let's try it. All right, to get started, since we're gonna be outside today, step one is putting on sunscreen. Just like at camp, we wanna make sure we are safe and protected from sunburn. Next is to grab our trusty water bottle. Gotta keep hydrated. Finally, we wanna grab our sidewalk chalk. It really doesn't need to be any particular color or kind. You just wanna have enough to do a big life-size drawing. All right, let's get started. I added this bit as a little extra, kind of because it reminds me of capers at camp, but also because I like a nice clean pavement to work on. Just gives you a really good smooth canvas. Okay, let's start our drawing. Now when you start, the trick here is to always start big. Go bigger than you think you need. I like to use giant footsteps as measurements because generally I won't make anything too small that way. Uh, remember, you're going to try to fit your whole body into this picture, so it needs to be really, really big. Now, I actually did four different drawings for myself. I did the climbing wall, the swimming hole, a canoe, and a tent. Um, those are just some of my favorite activities at camp, but you don't have to do these, and you don't have to do four. You can do many, many more, or just one big one. You can do the Soft Rocks, the Juliet Low Lodge, the Dining Hall, Campfire, Archery Field, pretty much anything you can imagine at camp, or you can even go bigger than camp and invent something from your own imagination. If you ever wanna take a break from the drawing, you can always play some of my favorite sidewalk chalk games like Tic-Tac-Toe or Hopscotch. I also like drawing mazes or tracing my friend's shadows. There's a lot you can do, and you're really only limited by the amount of pavement that you have. Once you're finishing up your drawings, it's time to fill in the final details, like maybe all the handholds on the climbing wall. It's also important to try and get up and look around at your drawing from a different perspective to see maybe if there's some gaps you can fill in or more lines you can add. Then finally, it's time to try it out and make sure you fit in your drawing. Let's see how it goes. Yep, I think I nailed it. All right, let me show you guys my finished drawing. For the climbing wall, I made sure to put the bell at the top, just like the one that we ring anytime we can climb all the way up there. Then a big CJL logo, accompanied by a bunch of handholds and footholds, more than I think I would actually get at camp. Next is my swimming hole. I gave myself two friends on the swinging bridge, lots of greenery, and a winding little river that crashes down into the swimming hole. I also added two campfish, because I really like them. And here's another fish, checking out my nice red canoe. I only gave myself one seat, because when it's a drawing, you only need one paddler. Let's see how I look in the pictures. Here I finally made it to the top of the climbing wall. Probably because I gave myself so many extra footholds. I love my big red canoe, and I love imagining myself back on the lake, maybe practicing for all camp day. I had a lot of fun with this one, and it might be my favorite. All that's really missing is lifeguard Nancy waiting to catch me in the swimming hole. And guys, I had so much fun, I ended up drawing a whole extra picture because I love camp tents so much. I had a blast doing this, and I really hope you guys do too. We cannot wait to see how creative everybody gets with their drawings and their pictures, so parents, please Share them with us using these hashtags or send them in to the CJL 2020 fun email. Thanks from CJL.